Ash. I so cannot stand you. We're both orphans, remember? Dad took us in when we were still babies. <laughs> that means we don't know who's actually older. For all you know, I could be your older sister. Yeah, and for all I know, maybe you're actually a boy. <sighs> Whatever, Carrie. Why don't you just chill out? I'm giving you an equal chance. Like, how many times do we have to go over this? We do the contest. The winner inherits the Golding family's fortune. End of story. Wait, don't tell me. You're too scared to go to the Dragon Graveyard, even with your bodyguards. <laughs> As if. Don't be more of a jerk than usual, Cash. Huh? Cash, we have guests. They could be applying for the bodyguard position. Oh, hello there. Uh, please forgive our manners. Welcome to the Golding Mansion. Let me explain the situation. Our foster father has passed away. Now, we're in the middle of deciding which of us will take control of his fortune. Hmm, maybe arguing is a better term? My sister and I are like oil and water. We never agree on anything. That's why we've decided to have a trial. A contest, basically. Whoever completes it and returns to town first will be declared the winner! The trial itself is a Golding family tradition. It's like a test of a potential heir's worthiness. All one has to do is enter the dragon graveyard and obtain the mark of the family on their hands. Sounds easy, right? Not. Nah. The Dragon Graveyard is full of monsters. We could even die, you know? So, we've agreed to hire bodyguards to protect us during the competition. The only thing is, we haven't been able to find bodyguards of the right caliber. But, I've got a good feeling about you travelers. What do you say, little sister? I hate to say it, but I agree. Wow! This is a first. Well, there you have it. Okay then, if we're all in agreement, why don't you go ahead and choose which of our backs you'd like to cover? The loser will use bodyguards picked from the mansion staff. Won't you, Carrie? Whatever, you're going down either way, Cash. Sure, sis, sure. Oh. And one more thing, you'll be compensated regardless of who wins. So, don't worry about pay.
All right, fine. I guess I'll round up some bodyguards from the mansion then. I cannot believe you chose him over me. Your loss. You rang, miss? Prepare a feast for our guests tonight. They look starved. The least we can do is give them a meal to prepare for the big day tomorrow. Right? Carrie, are you actually being considerate? This is a first. Well, we'll be on traveler's rations until we're back from the trial. I guess a banquet isn't a bad way to begin the journey. Diamond! First this scamper and now this! We're on a banquet row! King Trode's going to miss out again, though. Well, we don't know won't hurt him. Planning to stay in bed. It's already afternoon. Finally, you're awake. It's afternoon. My sister has already left. <sighs> Help me wake up the others. Wake up! Snap out of it! I hired you as guards, remember? I've decided to let you off this time because I overslept too. Oh, we have my sister to thank for that. The maid confessed that she put sleeping powder in our food last night, at Carrie's order. No time to waste discussing it now. We can still catch up. Come on, let's go to the Dragon Graveyard. I know you need to get yourselves ready, but I can't just sit around and wait for you. I'll go on ahead. Meet me at the entrance to the Dragon Graveyard.
you are. I've been waiting for you. Perry's already inside. If we hurry, we might be able to catch her. Listen, I can't lose. This is my chance to teach her to respect her older brother. Thank <laughs> you. 